listen, you, you may owe some creditors a lot of money right now. But at the end of the day, what you owe every living soul is to love them as you have been loved. What we love, what we owe every single person created in the image of God, and that's everybody, no matter your racial culture or your socioeconomic class, what we owe each other is to love one another, just as you have been loved. Love your neighbor. So today, maybe you need to identify a neighbor that you haven't loved that well. Is there a person right now in your life that maybe you say, huh, I probably haven't showed them the genuine, authentic love of Jesus Christ? Could be a person you're living with right now that you need to show them the unadulterated, unconditional, unfailing love of Jesus Christ. And remember, if you have put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, you're empowered to do this. We're without excuse. Matter of fact, he even says in other parts of the scripture that he has given us everything according to righteousness and good deeds. So loving your neighbor as yourself is righteous. It is the right thing to do. And it is a right deed to do. So our challenge right now is to pause, to, to go there today. I know it's maybe difficult for some of us. Uh, you know, we, we can probably easily love that family member, some we probably struggle with, but at the end of the day, for the most part, they're family members that you can say right now, I have no problem loving that person. But what about your neighbor that's not like you, that maybe that you have been in opposition with up until today, right? Let's pause right now and just identify someone. Identify someone. Is there someone that you can say, wow, you know, um, maybe I need to start loving that person as, as Christ has unconditionally loved me and continue to love me.